So everyone wants those big, full, balanced lips, and one of the best ways to get it is with these tips I'm about to give you. First, I start off by exfoliating my lips with the Fresh Sugar Lip Scrub. It's amazing, all natural, and it just gets all the dead skin off the lips. And then, of course, I like to moisturize the lips. I have a Josie Marin Argon Lip Balm. It's amazing, and it sinks right into the lips so you don't have excess residue when you're applying um, any type of liner or any lipstick over top. So that would be the first step. I like to get a nice clean lip line first. So usually I already have foundation on, but when I'm applying it, I'll take a little bit and I actually go over top of the lip line a little bit first. And you can use concealer. You don't have to use your foundation, just anything to kind of clean up the lip line first so you can actually create the nice clean line later. Next, you actually want to examine your lips for symmetry. So. The first thing is, is your top lip bigger than the bottom or vice versa? Also, are the peaks of your lips going straight up into the center of your nostril? That's usually where I start, right at the peaks. So mine are pretty symmetrical right up into the center. So I'm gonna start right at the peak with a kind of nude lip liner. It has a little bit of color, not too much. And I kind of line downwards first to create this look. And it also needs to be a 90 degree angle at the peak. Once you have this, so if you see, it's not too intense. It's just giving that lip a nice little peak. I like to start in this corner here. So my bottom lip is a little bit fuller than my top lip. So I'm actually gonna bring my line starting here a little bit fuller and I'm gonna connect it up to the top of the peak. And I'm actually going to make my bottom lip a little bit thinner on this side. So it's all about balancing and making sure that if you're making something larger in one spot, you wanna make it smaller in the other. So I'm starting here, and I'm gonna actually start to go on the outside of my current lip line. Now you don't wanna go overboard here, but just enough to make your lips look a little bit fuller. So there's the one side, I'm gonna go ahead and replicate that on the other side. Make sure they're symmetrical. Okay, and now I'm gonna do the bottom lip. Like I said, I'm not gonna take it quite as far down as my lip line goes currently. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. And I'm actually gonna come back through later with concealer and bring this in. So next, I'm just gonna fill in a little bit with the lip liner. By doing this, it's gonna help your lip to last a little bit longer because it kind of sets the color. And it also just makes them look a little smoother and fuller and I just kind of smush the lips together to blend it all. So next, I'm gonna take a little bit of lipstick. I just have a nice kind of neutral shade. It's got a little bit of color. I'm gonna take a lip brush. Lip brushes are really nice for application. They just give you a nice smooth look, clean, and really blends everything. And I'm just basically applying this all over the lip. Okay, so I finished applying the lipstick all over the lip. They just have a little more hydration now, looks a lot smoother, has a nice little bit of pop of color. And the next thing I'm going to do is put a little lip gloss on because that's really what makes them look plump. If you have a little bit of glow on the lip. And I'm gonna put the gloss concentrated in the center of the lip and that's where it's gonna kind of pop. And the gloss that I chose actually has a little bit of pearlescence to it. So it's gonna catch the light a little bit more and look a little lighter than the rest of the colors that we have on. And the last step is we're gonna clean up the lip line with a little bit of concealer and your concealer brush, just to make it look perfect. And I'm just using a flat concealer brush. It's easier to get those clean lines with this one. By putting a highlight on the outside of the lip, that also adds to the fullness. And as you can see, I'm kind of stretching the lip so that it's straighter, so that I can get that line a little bit easier, so. Doing stuff like this. And that's how you get a full and balanced lip.